Hey guys, welcome back. It's the 27th. It's another Sunday, so it's another video. I know what you're thinking. Hang on, that's not Italian. Who is that? That's not Italian. This is Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. So, check it out. I'm not done with um, Shadow of Mordor yet. I've got three missions left to do in the main quest, and I want to do them with you guys, but I want to finish the side quest first, so I'm kind of having to trudge through those. So I thought this week, why not? Let's show off another game. So I've actually already put about an hour and a half into this game. I haven't gotten very far yet. So this is Senua. Uh, I should say this is Hellblade, Senua Sacrifice. Senua is the main character, and it's this story based in... Um, very deeply in Norse mythology. Like, I just killed Sert a little while ago. Yeah, Sert. This chick. She killed Sert. That's right. Um, and there's a lot going on in this. In, 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 going on in this. Like, first of all, Ymir was a frost giant. A being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods. The old father. Yeah, so like I said, it's Steve's in Norse mythology. So the story is, is this badass, Senua, is on a journey to hell. That was weird, had a little bit of a lag spike there. That was odd. Is on a journey into Helheim to rescue, I guess, her husband? Um, it, it, okay, so first of all, this is not a game for people that are suffering from depression. Th this is a very screwed up game. Um, and it's got a lot of really cool effects. I'm gonna try tweaking around with the volume so you guys can hear it. But th there are segments where Senua is hearing voices. And you are not simply controlling her, you are also one of the voices. So that these moments where she'll stop and she will look straight into the camera at you, the player. What's that? Door. No, it's a witch. No, it's not. Push it. Push it. Push it down. What do you think will happen? Come on. Come on. She's too weak. She did. She did it. She did it. See? She did it. Those are voices that she's hearing, and you are one of those voices. So this is a game. I forget the um, who made it. I'll be. Po I'll post in the description who made this game. But one of the things they did is they decided. They wanted to make a game about a character suffering from psychosis. Illusion hides the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. So what they did... Hmm. So I need to look for that symbol, I think. Right? So what they did is they went to people who suffered from, and suffer, from psychosis and psychologists that specialize in psychosis and consulted them about how to make this character's psychosis um, accurate. So th there are cinemas where she's talking to herself and she's actually... Okay, I get it now. That's cool. So, yeah, um, this game has a lot of really cool mechanics in it. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. The... Th I, I, so th this game has been in my library for a while, and I can't believe I waited so long to play it. Because it is kind of screwed up, but it's screwed up in such a 
kind of beautiful way. So let me talk to you a little bit about what's going on. So we're in Helheim, or trying to get into Helheim. And to get into Helheim, we have to kill these two giants. Um... So that's Senua's voice, near as I can tell. And it, her husband. So, what apparently happened is she has. Her husband was killed and taken by Hela. Oh, the darkness is here. So, you, you see how everything got really dark and like that? Like the, the, how the shadows are? That means the darkness is here. Um. So, yes. I can see some combat. And I don't know if you can hear, but the, like the voices are gasping also. So we are trying to rescue her husband. I guess it's her husband. Um, whose head, by the way, is in that little sack on her left hand. She pays for seeing things differently. Because once you gaze into the relentless darkness, all that lurks within it can see you too. So we've got like this little focus and let's just look around and then like analyze things. And there, there is a little bit of combat involved. Uh, um, and you'll notice like her right arm there is blackened. So one of the interesting things that this game does is every time you die, Okay, so this is one of the more basic enemies that we fight. Um, every time you die, um, it spreads, and it's game over completely once it reaches her hand. So I've died a few times. Um, the combat's very basic. I can press base to to dodge the side. You'll notice that little amulet on like her right hip there. That activates a slow mode, thing. and I've got these fast attacks, and I've got heavy attacks. There's no blocking. You can't block in this game. It's not the way that I know. And then I've also got this little melee. That little kick there. Watch out. Shit. Sorry. Darn. So the voices will give you like little hints. They'll tell you when there's um, danger behind you. But I guess some, sometimes they lie. End it now. Oh, it's one of these guys. And I heard another one spawn in. Oh! Nope! Nope! No! 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 Don't want to be here. So each of these enemies also fights just a little bit differently. There's also these shield guys that you can just wail on their shields and they don't drop. Um, that was a little dash attack that I, I used. Oh God! Timed it wrong. Oh no! Um, there's nothing special about the combos I'm using. They're, they're just combos that she needs. Oh god! Oh god! Shite. Um, this actually requires a lot of focus. <laughs> I'm really glad. Oh, really glad the enemies aren't more aggressive in this game. Because if they were, this would be. Oh, those guys can dodge! Um. He's down! He's too close! Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and. Use focus. That's what that other boring amulet does. Whew, there we go. So your health automatically regenerates after combat. It does a little bit in combat too. So the really cool thing is the we will not stop her. She will find what she's looking for. This is very narrative driven, by the way. So there's a lot of um a lot of talking and a lot of having to like listen to what's going on. Um, so I see that symbol again. 
And I see it kind of up there. So when we went when I went through Surt's area, there were these little patterns on the door. They were runes, and you had to find objects in the world around you to open it. And you had to focus on them. So like one of them looked like an H, so I might have to focus in on this here because it kind of makes an H where the two trees are and then the rope going across. Um, so I wonder if this is... Yep, I have to find that symbol. Valraven's power of illusion comes from ravens. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much it's changed. It's all different. It's, uh... I'm noticing this thing here. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's glowing. Hello. Um... Ah, yeah, the, the, the puzzles in this game are actually pretty cool. I can't attack these. Hmm, that's... Wait, that was a door earlier, wasn't it? To break the seal. Align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. What is that? No, 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 no. What is that up there? I honestly... No, like, I really don't know. I'm not even sure that's actually a thing that's in-game right now. Um... Hmm... I'm not sure how I'm supposed to... So that opens this up for me. Um, why is it telling me to... So it does give you kind of some hints. Like you saw how the camera automatically focused in on this torch. So it kind of tells me that there's something over here that I just didn't see. Hmm. Interesting. Um... Yeah, like, and this is a gorgeous game, by the way. I'm playing this on high graphics. Oh, I do not trust that thing. It does look different now. It kind of does, doesn't it? Maybe it's just my imagination. But I really, I'm, I'm not sure. Like, I think this game purposely screws with you a little bit here and there. Especially here. Um... Feel something all right, and it's more like a sinking feeling in my stomach. Um, I, I can't recommend this game enough, guys. It is genuinely an amazing game. Um, if you like action, if you like story, if you like something that's kind of grim and dark, this is perfect. The game is it's like crossing into another world that looks the same but feels. An imposter world, where the forest itself is watching. Well, that's ominous. That's weird. I can't go through those. Um, like, the game starts with her seeing herself die horribly. That is how this game starts, is you watch your character die. Your character slash Sona. Oh, and the guy that keeps talking is this madman that she met, who told her how to reach Helheim. Um, I think his name was Durin. Um, it, it, he's like I'm watching. Okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> you know what to do. Stay back. It's not safe. Don't listen to them. Listen, listen. Don't open it. You can do it. Don't touch it. Stay back. Come on. Okay, so there's a gate there. There's a symbol there. There. I'm also trying to find all of the little statues. Um. This is just such a cool game. Um, like, I rarely make, like, an emotional connection to characters in games, but, like, I genuinely 
You haven't seen it yet. Everything shifted again. There are genuinely parts where, like, my heart just bleeds for Suna. Okay, so I can't open that right now. Um, like, she genuinely... In the first few minutes of this game, she jumps to the top of my list as far as badass female characters. Because you get this feeling that she is very scared, and she's not sure what she's doing or how to see it through. But she's going to do her damnedest anyway. Even though it's hard, even though it's painful. Yeah, like she is willing to literally go to hell to accomplish her mission, and that's kind of beautiful. Um, I'd like to show you guys. <clears throat> I gotta get through this. To see. break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. So, line up the ravens. Okay, but they're the wrong. Yes, yeah, so they're the wrong way right now. And all the voices are a little bit different, you'll notice. And they just won't shut up. Which I think is kind of awesome. Um, so I think that actually is telling us that. Yep. So the direction that that faces is where the opening is, where's where the gate is. If you hear the song of Van Raven, follow it, and it will lead you to him. But be aware of his illusions. You can't challenge me. <laughs> <laughs> so This is pointing me to where we need to go. That skull points us to hidden paths. Which this was not open a moment ago. Okay, there he is again. this. Sculpt there's always told us, or has always faced an illusion. Um, but there aren't any illusions over here. I don't get it. <laughs> this game forces you to think. It's it. It's a very nice change of pace. Um, while I try to figure this out, I, I'm gonna calm myself down by talking to you guys a little more. So. Oh, duh. Log, right there. Yeah. Okay, so that skull that's hanging there does not necessarily point us in the direction we need to go. It might be pointing backwards. There he is again. So, I actually recorded another Shadow of Mordor video last week. 
Um, and um, I had an audio issue, and there was this weird frame stutter um, that I just could not, I couldn't figure out where it came from, and I couldn't do anything about it. Okay, so I don't think there's a reason for me to go this way just yet. Um, so I wound up deleting that video. I didn't upload it. But I, you guys didn't miss anything. It was just me running around branding some more juice. Okay, this is weird. If you do pick up this game, guys, I you absolutely need to play with headphones because hearing the voices speak to you from different sides is <sighs> unnerving. <laughs> Voices. I wonder if I can open this now. On this side, yes I can. So, despite the simplistic controls, despite the simple gameplay, and despite despite all the things I would normally knock a game for, this one is it nails it across the board. Um, it's pretty cheap on Steam right now. I know Xbox, it's getting a um, a release on some kind of special that it they're doing. There it is. Um, like I don't know if it's like an Xbox Live special like they used to do, where they would just throw free games at you every now and then, kind of like the PlayStation Plus membership thing. So if you have an Xbox and, or if you have a decent. PC. Oh, that's a lot of Ravens. Or if you have a decent PC. Again, mine may be a gaming laptop, but it's from 2010, guys. So, if you've got a decent laptop, you've got a decent desktop in the past three or four years, you should be able to run this. We picture fear, and we think of a shadow in the woods. A creature in the night. If only it were that simple. The worst kind comes without signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. What's over here though? Okay. So I'm pretty sure that door is actually how we leave the arena that Valravin is in. Valrava? Valravin? It's one of these guys. Oh! Oh! Just in time! Oh god! So you guys aren't sure why I'm panicking. Oh! Make some space, make space. Oh, oh, still alive. Oh no! Nope. And here it comes. You might want to look away if you have a weak stomach. And that's how it goes. So what happened there is he caught me with a uh, with a counter. What happened is my thumb touched my trackpad. And on Windows 10, for some dumb reason, that brings up this weird, like, virtual desktop selection thing. There's no way to disable it. It's the thing I hate most about Windows 10. 
So you, if you look close, you'll notice that black, that darkness, that rot on her arm is actually uh, closer to our elbow now. that guy's shield often enough it does break but you have to hit it with melee attacks so with that kick rather Hey, there's another one of these stones. How many have I missed? So you'll notice these some of these are white, some of the runes. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Hmm. Do I using all of the corpse? Um, crap, where was I? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I, I am truly blown away by how great this game is. Um... Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones? To head deep into the wilds? Perhaps never to return? Okay, so I know it does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. The Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree and he stabbed himself with a spear and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink. And at last, 
he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree. Hmm. So, I'm not really, I don't really know too much about what Senua did before the tragedy. Whatever the tragedy is, I think that's referencing, um, however it is that her husband died. But I do know she went to exile, um, I guess, to try to cure herself of her psychosis. She went on a kind of a spiritual journey of some kind. I, oh boy, I have a bad feeling about this. Um, they, they aren't real clear on why she went into exile, but it does seem like it was to deal with her psychosis. I really want to get to... I really want to kill Valrama with you guys, like right here, right now. I'm just not sure if I have enough time. So this should be the one that leads to Valrama. Just a feeling I have. a long time. Why did she go to the wilds? She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat her darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness. But she didn't work. She thought her curse would affect him. Jillian is her husband, by the way. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him, too. She nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Druth helped her. Hold on. Yep, there it is. So this is... This is very weird. Um, okay, so I think I can... No. So how do I get over there, then? So I got up here using the river. Right? Or not the river, but that little stream there. I... Did they change the map on me? Is that what's going on? No, it's right here, okay. And that's where I'm trying to go. Um, okay, so we're just gonna push down this bridge real fast. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. That shit's creepy. And we'll open this up. I'm not sure if I need to open this up. Um, but I figured why not? Just in case. Wait. We zoomed in. I did zoom in. Oh, right, camera. <laughs> See, this game makes you a little bit paranoid. Um, especially parts like this. Um, God, like, just... Uh. The Northmen say that Odin is always in search of knowledge, wisdom, and magic. 
There was a very wise being named Mimir, who guarded the waters of wisdom which flow from the roots of the world tree. Odin wished to drink from this spring, but he had to pay a price. So he gouged out his own eye as an offering to Mimir. He drank from the well and traded one way of seeing for another. Okay, I get it. I need to. Oh, shh. Okay. Whew. I was afraid that was going to kill me. So I get it. Alright, so I have to look back through that portal now to put that wall back. So watch this. Watch this. Shut up. Okay, so now the wall's there. So, no, it's not. It's right there. So if I look through this now. There it is. And that is why I opened up that door. Just in case. So. This door. We go up the stairs and up the ladder. Yeah, see, this wasn't here just a moment ago. changed what changed let's pop down here real fast take a look um, okay so it's giving me the ability to go back down here or no no not there the ravens they've gone they've gone no half of them have gone they've gone some are still there but where some are still there no oh, ravens okay. He's not helping. It's a trick. Quiet. 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 Out in the wild. It's in cold winter woods. Where have they gone? She no longer felt fit for this child. She almost gave in to the darkness. So. She remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on. And kill that which had become a part of it. So if we go. Okay, so we can go not up there. Ah, there's a bridge over here. We can go up. You guys don't want to know how, like, you don't want to know how hard I'm having to think about this. To try and figure out where to go and how to get there. And Get it, Val Robin. Like, I gotta go this way. Was it I didn't already check up here before? Oh, what's this? I can't climb that, never mind. Um, I am stumped. Um, Really? I didn't notice it before. I'm dumb. Okay, good. This is in a balancing section. So there are some sections where you have to very carefully balance here. Um, but what it was, was I had to look through that, that gate there, so I could see this log. And every time I was looking through that gate, I didn't notice the log, because I'm dumb. Okay, so, now I've got a new idea of where we gotta go. So, let's take a quick gander around 
here? Where's that bridge that was upright? And that needed to be dropped. Um, here it is. So let's drop this real fast. Drop it like it's hot. Boom. Sorry, that, that was a bad joke. Come on. We go up this way. on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. Yeah, like I said. The smallest hints of shape, sound, thought, grow in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, the darkness had her in its claw. No, we need to go this way. I think. Almost. Yes! Yes! Broke. The gate is open. Open. There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill her. Yeah. When she is at her weakest, will it strike to kill? Will she find Dillian before her time comes? Well, that's kind of screwed up because. So, I don't really talk about it too much, but when I was suffering uh, most of my depression, to me it was very much like, um, like it didn't want me to die, it just wanted me to suffer. So, that's kind of haunting. I see you, mofo. So that's kind of haunting. <sighs> Another one? I just want to kill this guy. Okay, so I see three of them. <laughs> Overcome Valraven's final illusion to face him in his keep. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together. Wait, am I not supposed to go this way? Mm. Hmm. This is a tricky one. This one is giving us very little to work with. I think we need to go this way. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of, um, a little insight into me, I guess. Um. Here's the gates, and what changes? There's the branch. Ah, uh, yeah. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Findan. The Northman captured Findan's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death. And his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, 
His slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. That's how Druth escaped. What was Findon? Burnt away that day. But from the flames, a new man stepped forward. And Druth was born. Druth. The man that I am now. And though Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Sinua. Ominous. And why would I could have seen my home before these dark times? It's almost lined up. Okay, so I think I have to go back this way. That's kind of ominous. I'm starting to question a lot about Druth now from that. Um, I know I, I know because I skipped um, a good chunk of this with... Okay, I didn't skip, but I went through a good chunk of this game without you guys. You're probably a little bit lost, but Druth has been very much set up as this sort of... Um, not really fatherly, but um, mentoring figure. And... Um, I now have a lot of questions about him. Um, I don't know. Th this is definitely a game where I'm just not sure what's going on or what's going to happen. I want to believe it's going to have a happy ending. Don't get me wrong. I just don't see how it can. Which is a shame because I love this character, but I'm afraid of what a happy ending for her means. Way. Can I go this way? Uh oh, and that's time, guys. I'm sorry. So, as always, a huge shout out to Spitfire and to the other tank girl for letting me shamelessly advertise on their channels. Um, if you guys liked this video, let me know because I love this game and I really want to play more of it with you guys. Uh, drop a like, hit up a comment, leave me a comment, and punch that like button in the face. Um, and as always, I'm Bones. Stay awesome, guys. And this has been Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice.